When's the last time you opened your sentry logs and saw errors that were actually useful? For a lot of us, it's probably been a while. They're full of noise from everything from weird browser configurations to Chrome extensions going rogue to Google Translate and so many other things. For every one useful error report I get, I feel like I have a dozen or so reports that are just noise coming from all these weird sources. And I'm surprised no provider has really taken the time to fix this. The Highlight team has been working really hard to build best-in-class open source session replay and error management tools for keeping track of when things go wrong in your applications. When I saw what they were working on and putting out this week, I really wanted to talk about it, and I'm thankful they were down to actually sponsor this video so I can. The only thing better than a sponsor I trust is one that open sources everything because it makes recommending them so much easier, and I yeah, I have a lot of faith in the product. I'm really excited. Let's take a look at the future of error reporting and how these small changes can make these tools significantly more useful. This blog post is the one that got me really excited, where they talk about auto resolution, but more importantly, extension filtering. The auto resolving stuff is really cool. It lets you auto resolve errors that nobody has touched that have been stale and haven't been seen for a while. I feel like this makes up so much of the stuff in my Sentry that having a way to automatically clear it out is super dope. But what I'm here to talk about is the auto filtering for browser extensions. I I can't put into words how many years of my life I have lost getting paged randomly because of a sentry report for some random honey extension error. Just by clicking one switch, you can filter out all the noise that comes from Chrome extensions in your error reports. Why was this not this easy before? Since my errors were always filled with Chrome extension noise, both at Twitch and at Ping, it was hard to know when we were having actual spikes in errors. And with this, I can go to the page and just see real errors now. When you combine this level of useful errors with really good replays and reporting, it becomes significantly easier to debug an issue. On top of that, Highlight just introduced observability with Herald, their new AI, which normally I'm a bit more hesitant about AI stuff, but this seems like a limited, focused, and honestly really useful example where you can ask Harold for help with a given error, and it will give you some ideas of what causes these types of errors where they've been seen before and where you should start looking. If you combine this with source maps, the result is very, very useful information. If you've ever sat there banging your head against the wall just trying to reproduce an error, much less resolve it, this will make life significantly better. I am so hyped to get this stuff set up on all of my websites as soon as I can, because I really do see it being incredibly valuable for production code bases. Another place this is really useful, and being a video chat app developer, I, God, I would have killed for this a while back. With Ping, which is a video call app, session times can break 10 hours. We have individual users that will be in a call for 10 plus hours and have an issue six and a half hours in. Getting information out of that session is impossible. But with AI, funny enough, you can just ask what happened and it will give you a summary and break it down in chapters and you can scroll through it and find the thing you're looking for. What? This is, this is really hype. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what they do more of in the future. My guess is we're going to see even more powerful filtering and error identification, taking advantage of the new AI tools. This feels like a really good use of AI. And generally, this feels like a product that understands what it's like actually going through errors, not just reporting them. And no offense to the other tools in the industry, it feels like they're so focused on getting the logs that they're forgetting about how we use them and how we actually replay our sessions and figure out what went wrong in the user experience. So if you want to try out a new observability tool focused on modern full stack developers, I can't recommend Highlight enough. I'll leave a link in the description. Also, make sure you give their GitHub some love. They deserve the stars. It's scary open sourcing something like this when you have so much competition that's hiding all their code. But I do really trust where Highlight's going with it. And I'm so thankful they are down to sponsor content like this. It's really cool being able to hit up an open source company and have them be down to do something like this. So I appreciate you all a ton. If you want to learn more about making sure you don't lose your errors, I'll pin a video about that in the corner. Thank you as always. Peace, nerds.